Hi folks, this story for this week from the Gospel has two characters in it. Jesus is talking about a tax collector and a Pharisee. Now the Pharisees were people who really followed the rules of the religious life of Israel quite well. Tax collector, not so much. They often were ending up gouging people and people thought of them as being in cahoots with the Roman oppressors of that time. Now the Pharisee goes and prays and talks about all the great things that he's been doing and how uh, probably he's uh, been doing them a lot better than a lot of other people. Whereas the tax collector goes, recognizes that he's made a mistake and asks God for compassion in the midst of those errors. Now Jesus says that the two of them leave the temple and it's actually the tax collector who is has left in a, a better state of relationship with God than the Pharisee. Well, how does that work? Because the Pharisee's been doing all the right things. Well, the problem is the Pharisee has kind of been relying on himself, and he sees his own actions and the power that he uses to do them as being the driving of his goodness, whereas the tax collector, even though he's made all of these mistakes, recognizes that it's God's love that actually is the uh, the most powerful element in uh, who we are as people and how we live in the world. Now, this can be hard for us as people in the church because a lot of the time we want to do good things in the world and uh, follow the example of Jesus, um, but ultimately we need need to recognize that uh, all the good things that we do come as gifts from God and we're in partnership with God, but it's, it's not just all about what we're doing, it's about how the Spirit is working with and through us in order to bring about great things in the world. And, you know, sometimes that can be a bit disappointing because we want to achieve and, and be successful, but at the same time, we're so finite and we, well, I know for myself, I make mistakes all the time, and uh, we need that transformative power of God. We need that uh, renewal of the places where we make mistakes, where we're uh, less than living up to the places where we want to be, but that's okay because God created us so that we can rely on that love, and uh, it would mean if we didn't, we wouldn't have the relationship, that back and forth, and that back and forth relationship is the model that we have for all of our other relationships of love in the world. So I hope that this has been helpful for you folks. Looking forward to seeing you this Sunday, and God bless. Listen, listen carefully.